Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about cyclic redundancy check code. So it's actually used to detect errors in data communication by adding some redundant bits at the end of the data bits. So let's try to see what is the algorithm behind this. So let's consider this data bit. So we have a couple of data bits. Now what we are going to do, the first thing we need to do is to select a, a polynomial or generating code of length r. It could have been anything. So after selecting that, what we need to do is we need, we are going to append r minus one zeros at the end of the data bit. So let's try to see, uh, let's consider this polynomial. Now the question is how to interpret this? Well, this polynomial is x cubed plus x squared plus uh, one is nothing but x to the power zero. It means that starting from right at the zero with bit, there would be one at the second bit uh, this one there would be one and at the third bit there would be one so it has no x to the power one it means that the first bit would be zero all right now so after selecting that we have appended three zeros because the length of the uh, length of the generating code or the generator matrix is uh, three uh, uh, is four so that's why we have added three zeros now from next, we need to perform the long division in order to generate the redundancy, uh, redundant code. So actually, I'm not going to do the uh, actual uh, division. Rather, I'm going to be doing uh, something called bitwise or Let's try to see. So initially, I have this one. This one is the data bits where I have added three zeros. And this one is the generator matrix or the polynomial. Now the first thing we need to do is to select the search for the first one is in the data bit. So this is at this position. So from here, I'm going to do for four consecutive bitwise ZOR with this, uh, uh, with this uh, polynomial. So if I do bitwise ZOR of one and uh, one, I'm, I'm going to get a zero. A zero ZOR one is one, one ZOR zero is zero and one ZOR one is zero. Now the remaining portion will be same. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Search for the first one that is in this position. The question is, can I do four consecutive bitwise ZOR? Yes, I can because I have four bits. So now I'm going to do the same procedure. One ZOR one will be zero. One ZOR one will be zero. Zero ZOR zero is zero and zero ZOR one is one. Now again, I'm going to search for the first one. This is at this position. So uh, uh, can I do uh, four bitwise ZOR? Yes, I can do. So after doing that, I'm going to get this one. Again, I'm going to search for the uh, first one. So this is at this position. <laughs> so the question is, can I do? Yes, I can do. So uh, after doing this uh, again and the next step, I'm going to get this one and I'm going to search for the first one. So can I do four consecutive bitwise ZOR? Yes, I can do because I have four bits available. So I'm going to do four bitwise ZOR. So I'm going to get this one. So at last, uh, Again, I can do uh, I can do four bitwise ZOR. So after doing this, at last, I'm going to get this one. Now from here, if I search for the first one, I'm going to get this at this position. But we have uh, not, uh, uh, there is no four bit, uh, four cons consecutive bits available to do the bitwise ZOR. So we should stop there. Now we should append this uh, last three bits uh, to the data bit. That would be the redundant code. Now this entire thing would be sent over the communication channel at the receiving side. How we are going to check uh, whether this is, uh, is correct or not. So let's try to see. So at the receiving end, we will be getting this thing. Now we need to follow the same procedure again. So uh, our generator code was this one. Now what we are going to do here. We are going to, we are going to do the same long division or the bitwise ZOR again with this uh, number. Now, if we get all zeros at the last three bit, it means that there is no error. Let's try to see. So here I have already uh, done that. Uh, so you can see it has three zero, uh, zeros at the end. It means that there is no error. But what happens if uh, we will get something uh, which is not zero at the uh, end of at the last three bit? It means that there is some error in the communication. So the receiver will request for the same packet again uh, to the sender and the same packet would be sent again over the communication channel. So that's it. Now in, in, in the next video, I'm going to show you the implementation of this CRC code in C++. Thank, uh, thanks for watching this video.